Hello, we are Group 115, and this is our presentation for the Case Western Cleveland Clinic Biomedical Engineering Virtual Internship. Our project is focused on reducing exposure of masks that are not in use through simple upgrade kits that people can use on their pre existing mask. We aim to improve comfort and hygiene for people who are out of the house all day during this pandemic. Hello, my name is Aaron Valenstrina. I attend UC Berkeley. I'm a third year class of 2021. I'm Nick Zanich. I go to Washington. Washington State University, and I'm a third year of class of 2022. My name is Aparajit Kunifran. I go to UT Austin. I'm a second year, and I'm class of 2023. Hi, I'm Kate Kabashi. I'll go to Arizona State University. I'll be a first year in class of 2023. So, the usage of a mask is a new norm that everybody must abide by. As you can see from the images below, taken from the New York Times article, we see common misuses of the mask indicated by the X, where the first figure is addressed by our magnets, and the next we are addressed through the fit of our cord lock system and the, our aluminum nose bridge. On the very right, we see the proper usage of a mask where the nose and mouth are covered, and the fit is contouring across the shape of the individual's face. For our mask design, we wanted to cover the multitude of issues regarding people's usage with masks. First, there is a concern with the exposure to the inside of the mask when people remove the mask and don't follow proper sanitation to keep up the mask hygiene. Another concern a lot of people highlight is the irritation behind the ears, especially those essential workers required to use a mask for more than eight hours of the day. Finally, another concern we would like to address is the fit and ease of use of a mask, since many people complain that masks don't usually fit around the nose, and the general fit of the mask sometimes is too loose with a minimal adjustability. To solve each of these issues, we have included various attachments to our mask design that benefit the user. Some of these issues, like fit and comfort, were easy to solve. In our mask, we included a malleable aluminum nose bridge that the user can easily fit around their nose to seal it. Furthermore, to reduce irritation around the ears, we added cords and cord lock system that leverage the back of the user's head instead of the ears. This feature also secures the tightness of the mask as an added benefit. The most critical feature of our mask design revolves around the four magnets we have been attached on the corners of the mask. These magnets serve to solve the issues of exposure. The magnets snap together when the user is not wearing the mask to ensure that the inside of the mask does not come into contact with skin or surfaces. This feature has many uses when combined with the cord lock system. The user can allow the mask to hang on their chest in a closed state when the mask is not in use, giving them the freedom to use their hands. Furthermore, when the user is done using the mask, they can snap the mask shut and toss the mask aside without worrying about surface contamination. Inside the kit will include all the upgrades as well as the instructions on how to properly assemble them on your mask. I cut the stitching with a box cutter and used super glue to attach the magnets to each corner of my mask and the stitching, but it can also be done by resewing the edges back together. After that, we tie the ends of a small length of string to the loops in the mask and attach the cord lock to the guest to our heads. For the nose bridge, you just need to follow the fitting guide in the kit and stick it on your mask. As we finalize our mask kit design process, we want to make sure that our mask kits are accessible and feasible for all college students nationwide. To make that transition possible, we will, we will be reaching out to nonprofit organizations that would be willing to distribute our mask kits to colleges and universities. We will also be prioritizing the use of advertising to get our mask kits out in the open, letting all of our peers know about the mask kits and how they are more secure and sanitary when it comes to exposure, and how they are an easy DIY process that they, that they can assemble themselves with instructions to maximize proper use. Here's some pictures of me wearing the mask, mask effectively. Thank you. We are Magnet Mask.